Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another edition of Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, although this one's a bit more educational than comical, although it's kind of funny in a lame way. Um, as per the topic, uh, is uh, Facebook waging war against TSU, or Sue, as it's called? Um, going into my settings here, I'm going to show you that just recently, uh, TSU, or Sue, whatever you want to call it, has just launched a new um, beta for groups and my guess, my opinion, is that Zuckerberg, I mean Zuckerberg, saw that and got like all temper tantrumed and um, all of the sudden, because before when you post something, it has the options to simultaneously post to Twitter and to post to Facebook and all of a sudden, <clears throat> all of the Facebook links, or excuse me, all the uh, TSU links on Facebook are banned. So if you try to, to post anything from TSU to Facebook or Sue, whatever you want to call it, um, it's not working too well right now. And if you do the multiple simultaneous thing, it's like, oh, unable to authorize, block, so on and so forth. Um, it gets even more interesting because in the past, like, let's say you upload a picture to Facebook and let's say um, it has a link in it that now Facebook has decided, oh, well, we don't like that link. It, we think it's a spam or a scam or, you know, whatever opinion they have of it. So it goes into their system as being blocked. Um, then when you try to share the picture, it'll tell you that you cannot share the picture until you remove the link out of the description that is the offending link. And it tells you um, what that offending link is, and then when you rectify it, it's all good. Well, now, because um, in a lot of the PSAC uh, episode artwork that I've done, it's had direct TSU links. Um, recently, I've been using this to mask the original links of uh, certain things in order to shorten them using um, goo.gl and um, <clears throat> the main reason that I started recently doing this with TSU links is because for reasons unknown um, DeviantArt has actually um, added uh, tsu.co to their block list, although instead of letting you know, oh, hey, there's an error, you know, this this URL has been added to block for whatever reason, um, it simply won't let you save the description and it won't tell you why. And if you're thinking it's just a random glitch and you hit update a few times, then it'll update the description and the new description will just have a, a single character, just the number one, and your entire description that you tried putting in there will be destroyed. Now, of course, if you realize what's going on and you simply remove the, the TSU link, then that doesn't happen. So I noticed that um, if I use a goo.gl and I, you know, put in the, um, the TSU link and, and I'll just, I'll just demonstrate this, uh, you know, just for shits and giggles here. So, okay. There's a TSU link. I'm going to copy link location. I'm going to go in here and remove that. I'm going to tell this that, oh, I'm not a robot. Okay, it's confirmed. And then I do that for shortening the URL. So, of course, you know, there's the goo.gl forward slash, you know, in the little shortened URL there. And, you know, there's the original um, TSU link. So, all the ones that I have done that to, um, you can see that in my PSEC episode artwork folder, um, whichever ones that I've used that system on, um, those have remained intact. So like one of my more recent ones, you know, I've got like the universe is a cosmic troll. That was a, a fun one. Watch that when you get a chance. Um, so if I extend the description. Um, we can see here 
it says TSU link, and um, I have used the geo geo.gl to mask that. And so, you know, these pictures have been saved from annihilation because I masked it with this. Now, if I were to try to share that link on Facebook, <clears throat> then Facebook would do a deeper scan and, you know, not allow it to post properly um, because it would read all the way through it and be like, oh, well, this is trying to resolve to a, a link that we've got blocked, so we can't pull the metadata, so we're obviously not going to pull what we can't pull. So anything where for the TSU, I use GLO.GL, um, those pictures have been spared and not annihilated. And this is one of the big time telltale signs here that um, it's not simply just a matter of, oh, well, you know, tsu.co is a domain that got into our, you know, anti-spam list, so it's being blocked as, you know, what the usual status quo of that would be, and all TSU's got to do is contact us with their lawyers and tell us it's a mistake and this and that, and then we'll light, whitelist it and no problem. No, 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 no. If that was the case, then it would do, like I mentioned before, where the picture would still exist and it would just say you can't share it until you remove the offending link and it would tell you what the offending link is. Now they are annihilating anything that has um, tsu.co on it and I even had a folder in here called, you know, it's a TSU folder, and of course in the description it had um, the link to the uh, the PSEC uh, TSU profile, and because it had that link, the entire folder has been completely annihilated um, as far as I could tell. So I'm, you know, I've looked all through here, and uh, you know, I don't see the, the PSEC TSU graphic at all. Um, the folder for that it's it's not here and when I go into the main um, pictures thing like um, this of course was a you know a TSU screenshot but I obviously did not you know put in a TSU link in the description so obviously this picture has been spared the the fate of annihilation but it was in the in the TSU folder that I had. So as you hover over there, see where it says Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy right there when I hover over, it does not say TS, it's a TSU folder. Now this, it says PSEC episode artwork, and this, it says Katerina Edwards folder, so on and so forth. So, you know, this says PSEC graphics. So all these are in their different folders, and this was in the TSU folder, which now no longer exists. So... This is not simply just, oh, oops, you know, we added it to our ban list and this can be sorted out. This is an all-out war, um, Facebook against TSU, because they seem to be going above and beyond, you know, the freaking call for wiping any and all references of TSU out from the face of Facebook, um, so to speak. And, you know... Even like on, on the CEO, uh, Sebastian, um, on his Facebook profile, all of his TSU link stuff is wiped out. Um, on mine, anything that I posted, everything is wiped out. And I, I don't know if Sebastian is ever going to watch this video, but if he does, I'd love to get you on a Google Hangout here sometime on PSEC to, you know, talk about this situation and, you know, the future of, you know, TSU and, you know, what other cool stuff that uh, you might have lined up in the future. So that would be cool if ever you wanted to. If not, I understand you're a busy guy. So, okay, sirrah, sirrah. But um, getting back on track, I can't really blame um, Zuckerberg too much for throwing his little hissy fit temper tantrum because the way TSU or SU, if you want to call it that either way, the way it differs from um, most other social networking platforms is where, you know, Facebook has advertising and they don't share any of the revenue of that with its users. Um, TSU shares 90% of the ad revenue with its actual users. So, um, you know, TSU isn't any sort of like marketing scheme or, you know, anything you have to pay for or anything like that. 
it's just a regular social networking platform just like any other. The only difference is Sebastian is not a greedy bastard and he is sharing the bulk of the ad revenue with um, his users and it's really as simple as that. Beyond that, yes, it's a social networking, you know, social media platform and works pretty much, you know, the same basic functions as you would expect out of, you know, Google Plus or Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest or any of the others. Um, and I can understand why why um, Zuckerberg would fear this um, because people fear change. And if TSU gets really big, like, you know, Pinterest and LinkedIn and Twitter and all these others, which I think it's inevitably going to do and it's well on its way to doing so, um, if if uh, TSU's, shall we say, economic ethics were to become uh, trendy and popular, then only the other social networking uh, media platforms that went with that trend um, would be able to survive and maintain their popularity. Now, when that point comes, I don't think most other social networks will have a problem switching over like you know I don't see Twitter and Pinterest ever getting you know butthurt about any of this sort of stuff um, for Google they already monetize YouTube so it would be a simple matter of just revising um, the Google Plus pages a bit to include um, Google AdSense within that and then you know boom once you can monetize your, your your google plus page then you know same as you can with a youtube video then there you go um they will have switched over to that sort of the system because they've they've had this sort of the system to begin with i mean you know youtube has been sharing its ad revenue with its users for you know years before tsu started doing anything so this is not a new idea um but so far it's just been you know with youtube for videos and sebastian had this idea of oh okay well, why don't we just do this for social networking as a whole that's cool then and it's definitely a trend that is going to catch on big time in my opinion and you know so seeing as facebook has you know notably always kind of been a bit control freaky um, about how they run things and basically wanting to stick to the way they like to do things and Facebook has not been a fan of you know going with what the general public wants and they try to control what the general public does instead of going with you know and respecting what the general public wants I can understand how this sort of the thing catching on could possibly be perceived as a as a threat to Mr. Zuckerberg because um, that would mean that in order for him to adapt and continue to have his business be lucrative he would have to adhere to an entirely new paradigm of economic construct and uh, yeah i don't i don't really really see him being incredibly happy about that prospect so it doesn't really surprise me that he's doing all he can to try to prevent um word of tsu from from getting out to you know facebook users because facebook is one of the most popular mediums of you know information exchange so yeah i mean there we are. Um, we're also here with uh, Richard Hamilton and uh, anything you want to add on this? Well, uh, <clears throat> it kind of goes along the lines yet again of censorship and corporate domineering of, you know, the media. Um, there was an article I recently shared not too long ago on my own personal Facebook page um, where they are going to eventually be adding a dislike button you know that's been something they've been talking about for <coughs> ages now you know adding the ability to dislike a post but there was a nasty twist that got out and apparently after 10 dislikes the post would get auto deleted you know thus saving you know if a post became unpopular thus saving the need for admins to go in you know, physically remove the post, and you know. Uh, but there's a dark. There, the but there's a dark side. It accordingly. There's but, a yeah, dark there's side. a dark side. I'm, 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 I'm about to get to that. 
I'm just saying, I'm just explaining their, their logic behind it, thus yeah. negating the need for an admin to go in and, you know, auto, you know, do the delete process and then, you know, punish the user accordingly who uploaded the quote unquote offensive post. What the real agenda is behind that is to, you know, all it would take is 10 paid trolls or just 10 trolls in general who don't like something, you know, to just dislike it and then it gets automatically deleted end of argument you know it's over nobody can contest it and there's the it basically takes the uh the right of due process as it were it basically throws it right out the window and it just allows for censorship to ensue and you know especially in the online world i mean there's already enough censorship going on you know let's not throw another tool in which you know can be easily exploited and irresponsibly used i mean yeah this not only counts towards corporate censorship of information from alternative media but it goes towards you know it's an advantage for cyber bullies if they want to bully someone they could just make 10 fake accounts and you know dislike everything on your timeline and then everything you have gets deleted because some jackass decides to you know take the time to do something like that. And there's nothing you can do about it otherwise because Facebook just auto deletes all your posts and there's no, there's no uh, admin in there to interfere with something and determine whether or not it's deletable or it's just somebody, you know, having a tantrum and, you know, wanting to get rid of something, but there's, you know, no reason to. It's just somebody having yeah, exactly. an attitude. Totally. But it's just, it, it just goes to show what is in the minds of not only people like Zuckerberg, but people behind the scenes in the elitist sphere. They're afraid, you know, folks, they're afraid. They're afraid of what we put out there, even though we do it in kind of a silly, sometimes incoherent, uh, yeah. you know, way sometimes you know sometimes you catch us all on days where we're just kind of sound like babbling morons but yet again we're fighting we're, we're doing we're doing good work you know yeah. uh, whether it's us whether it's alex jones whether it's you know um rt whether it's you know any number of media or alternative media or you know if this we'll, goes we'll, through, we'll spirit wolf we'll spirit radio truth we'll frequency we'll, network yeah. the list goes on mm-hmm and if something like this does go through, it will just, you know, enable them to censor whatever they find distasteful and it won't be hard. It'll just be like, oh, 10 likes and your dislikes and you're done. Goodbye. Yeah, it's easy. And, it's you know, pe people with political agendas, I mean, hell, let's pretend for the moment that the system wasn't totally rigged by Wall Street, and it is, but let's pretend for a moment that it wasn't. Um, political candidates could troll each other like that too, troll each other's Facebook uh, profiles and, uh, you know, I I any points that that one candidate was making that another did not, you know, approve of. They could just go in, 10 dislikes and bam, and it would be easy to pay 10 people to, uh, you know, to go in and do that. You could just, you know, minimum wage, you know, there's a lot of people who don't have work right now and, you know, there are some of the people, you know, who are out of work, you know, let's face it, there are sleaze balls out there some of them are sleazy and you know they'd be happy to you know get paid minimum wage to sit at home and just you know troll according to a political agenda and i think we should end this off here this just looks like a good place to end it um i just wanted to report on that oh, and oh, oh, i mean hold on here i just want to uh you know it, just for people out there who might think this is you know we're talking about something not credible here here i'll share the you can screen share this, Dave. I'm going to send you the link via Skype. It is usatoday.com article about the new Facebook dislike button will delete, delete posts with 10 dislikes. It's not made up. It's USA Today, you know, fairly reputable source, biased most of the time, yes. But yet again, very, you know, reputable deal is happening. You know, they're trying yeah. to censor out the media. The globalists are afraid. They're running. They're scared. And totally. they're just trying to find, they're just trying to find mediocre ways to use technology. To yeah. I am, I am trying to, I am trying to keep this under 20 minutes so I can also upload this to DeviantArt. So 
I'm going to stop this okay. here. All right. Okay. So thank you, everybody, for listening and, uh, and watching. Catch you later.